Hey, what's up, guys? I'm BTC. It looks like the next brand new map in Overwatch has been discovered through data mining. And it looks like it's going to be Junkertown, which takes place in Australia. It is the official base of operations of Junkrat and Roadhog. So let me quickly read something so you can get an idea of what this map might look like. This is from Junkrat's official story. It says, The attack on the Australian Omnium's fusion core forever altered the landscape of the Outback. After the detonation, the area was transformed into a harsh, irradiated wasteland littered with debris and the twisted fragments of the ruined facility, and unlivable to most. But there were some who survived. Calling themselves the Junkers, they scavenged the husk of the Omnium and formed a lawless, cutthroat society in its shadow. Junkrat was one of them eking out a living, reclaiming metal and components from the ruins, like many others, he was affected by the lingering radiation. This touch of madness made him ideal for handling dangerous explosives, a love which turned into an obsession. He came to notoriety when he discovered an extremely valuable secret in the bones of the Omnium. Though few knew the nature of what he found, he was nonetheless pursued by bounty hunters, gangs, and opportunists wherever he went, until he made a deal with the Junker Enforcer Roadhog, who grudgingly agreed to be his personal bodyguard in exchange for a 50-50 share of the spoils. So that should give you a pretty good idea of what the Junker Town map should look like. Think Fallout, but more colorful, basically. So the reason why we think Junker Town is going to be the next map is because of a voice line that was data mined. And here's that voice line right here. Arriving at Chateau Gia. Welcome to Junker Town. Alright, so how realistically is this going to be the next map, and if so, when are we going to see it? So let's go through some of the facts real quick. Earlier in the year, Jeff Kaplan said that they were working on three brand new main maps, that is for stuff for quick play and competitive, and three other maps, okay? So we already got more than the three other maps, which was the three arena maps, and we also got the Lucio Ball one and the Chateau one, so that was five non-standard maps but we only got one standard map and that was the horizon lunar colony and he said we were supposed to get three this year alone so since we've only gotten horizon it's very likely that the next map is going to be an actual standard map another thing to think about is the order in the audio file so the first one is welcome to chateau which is the map that we just got and then immediately after that is welcome to junker town now, this doesn't necessarily mean that Junkertown is going to be the next map. It just means that it's a map that Blizzard wants to do. So keep in mind, Blizzard doesn't call in the voice actors just to read a couple lines. They have a big list of stuff that the voice actors will be reading. And a lot of it just doesn't even ever get used. Here's a quick example. This was from the beta. Originally, they were going to have the characters themselves count down the start of the map. In five, four, three, two, one. So right now on the live servers, we have the summer games. On the PTR, we have Blizzard testing all of the deathmatch stuff and the new maps for that. So if they are going to add the new Junkertown map, I wouldn't really expect to see it for at least a couple weeks. I would say probably like a month out. So in addition to this new map, it might also be a good opportunity for Blizzard to have a new cinematic that shows the origins of Junkrat and Roadhog and what exactly Junkrat found in that Omnium. So what do you guys think about a new Junkertown map and what kind of map do you think it should be? Let me know down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server where you can join the community and find other players to group with. The link for that is in the description. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.